so the last time um, I was talking about um, a, a, a fuse which is, allows you to use Google Cardboard stare at something for a period of time to activate it now that was using the latest version of Google Cardboard um, but if you're using an older version of your Google Cardboard say 0.5 then you don't have the cardboard reticule what you have instead is a gaze pointer so what I'm going to talk through is an, is an alternative way of creating views uh, without the um, Google Cardboard reticule. Now we don't get the nice little circle in the center at, at the moment, that may be something I add in the future, but for now at least we can get fuse functionality working without that. So what we're going to do is you know, inside of our cardboard main we're going to select the main camera and we're going to add a gaze fuse pointer and that just means that whatever this camera is pointing at can now be uh, fuse activated. Um, now we're going to choose a target, so in this case we are going to choose this little orb in the center here and we're going to add a gaze target. Now with the gaze target script you can determine how long the fuse is going to be before it activates something. So we're going to say you have to stare at the orb for two seconds um, to activate something. Now in this instance you can activate something and then reactivate something unless we tick the one shot box which means you can only activate something once. So now we're going to um, add a, a consequence of gazing at this for uh, an, for two seconds and we're going to do that using Playmaker and an FSM. So we're going to add an FSM to this orb and we're going to create a second state um, and now in our first state we want to trigger the second state in the second state let's give it um, a nice action so that it, it does something so we'll give it an effect of blink so that when you stare at it it's going to blink now let's add our trigger now we're going to go to the Google Cardboard and we're going to add gaze fuse action and with the gaze fuse action you can choose uh, fuse start which is when you first gaze at the object fuse complete which is when the time of the fuse is completed so the fuse is burnt out and fuse update which means that for as long as you're staring at it this action will be triggered um, and again a one shot option so what we're going to choose is fuse complete but we have no, no transitions at the moment so let's add a transition uh, we'll call this, we'll do collision enter and we will hook collision enter to state 2. Okay, and then from fuse complete, we will now choose collision enter. And it just means that the collision enter event will be fired when we activate the fuse on this object, uh, which will trigger state 2 and create the make the orb blink. So let's give that a try. So in order to, to rotate the camera without the, uh, the headset plugged in, I have to select the main camera there. You can't select head because the head is locked, but you can select the camera and rotate that. Okay, give this a second to run. Okay, and now we can tilt our head back until the orb comes into view. See me looming down on you. There we go, and our orb is blinking. And I think that successfully demonstrates how the fuse works.